Today's adventure starts at the Great Elf Tree. The Frog Prince. Hello, Mrs Elf. Hello, Princess Holly. Can Ben come out to play? Sounds like he's on his way down already. Hi, Ben. Hi, Holly. <laughs> <laughs> Princes and princesses. Okay. I can be the princess because I am a princess. And I can be the prince. Yes. I'll turn you into a prince by magic. Can't we just pretend I'm a prince? No. Magic is much better. Abracazobadu. <laughs> oh, I seem to have turned Ben into a frog. Ha! <laughs> I always get frogs and princes mixed up. Ben, if you can hear me, croak. Good. I'm going to get help. Wait here. <laughs> Nanny Plum, come quick. I've turned Ben into a frog. Oh, good. You've been practising your magic. No, no. It was an accident. Ben is not happy being a frog. Frogs are never happy. Can you help me turn Ben into himself again? All right. Now calm down. I'll fetch my wand while you wait with Ben. OK. Make sure he doesn't hop off. Frogs do that. <laughs> Ben's gone. Now I'll never find Ben and he'll be a frog forever. Hi, Holly. Hello, Violet. What's wrong? I've turned Ben into a frog and he's hopped off somewhere. Hmm. He'll be at the pond. That's where frogs live. Of course. Come on, let's go and find him. <laughs> Look! Yes, that must be Ben. Hello, Ben. I hear you've been naughty and got yourself turned into a frog. You really should have waited like I told you. Yes, poor Holly was really worried. Oh, maybe this frog isn't Ben. Maybe that one looks a bit like Ben. But so does that one. <sighs> They all look the same. We'll never find Ben. Look, one of them is wearing a hat. Does Ben wear a hat? Hmm, I think so. Holly, don't you know? He's your best friend. Yes, Ben wears a hat. Hi, Ben. If it's really you, do a croak. Last. You've no idea what a time we've had trying to find you. Now, Ben, don't worry. Nanny Plum will be here soon and she knows the spell to turn you back again. We don't need Nanny Plum. I know lots of spells. Uh, Violet, I think we should just wait for Nanny. No, no, no. Turning frogs back into elves is easy peasy. Watch this. Zabbity Z, turn yourself into whatever you be. You see, I told you I could do it. Well done, Violet. Ah, oh, that was horrible. I was a frog and I was eating flies. Oh, I don't think my spell is quite finished. Oh, oh Ben's turned into a bird. That wasn't meant to happen. Now we will never, ever find him. Oh. Hi, Holly and Violet. Hello, Hello Barnaby. Barnaby. Have you seen Ben? I want to play football with him. Uh, I don't think you can play football with a bird. Bird? Yes, Violet turned Ben into a bird. 
You changed him into a frog first. Well, anyway, now he's flown away and we will never find him. It's very annoying. Hmm. Birds live in trees, so we need to look up in the trees. Strange. One of those birds is wearing a hat. That's Ben. But that nest is very high. And we're not allowed to fly high. Then it's a lucky thing I'm around. Elves are very good at climbing. And I'm an elf. <laughs> <laughs> have to get Ben turned back into Ben again. I've got a very good idea. If we both do a spell together... Yes, that would be fun. Abraka Zabadi. Oh, that was disgusting. I was a little bird and I was eating worms. Oh, I don't think our spell is quite finished. Ben's turned into a rabbit. Oh, now he'll hop off somewhere and we'll have to find him all over again. <sighs> We're not having a good day. What about poor Ben? Goodness me, Holly. I've been looking everywhere for you. Sorry, Nanny, but Ben kept wandering off and we had to keep finding him. I see. So where's this frog? that needs to be turned back into Ben. Uh, here. But that's a rabbit. Ben was a frog, then a bird, and now he's turned himself into a rabbit. We've tried everything. Well, it just shows that you both need a lot more spell practice. Yes, yes Nanny, Nanny Plum. Plum. Fairies of your age really should be able to get a simple spell right. Yes, yes Nanny, Nanny Plum. Plum. Watch and learn. When you turned Ben into a frog, Abracazobadee. You should not have turned him into a bird. Zabadee. And certainly not into a rabbit. Abracazabadee. No. At the start, you should have made him Ben again. Abracazobadee zabadee zee. Hooray! For you! I'm glad that's over. You see, girls? It's easy. Anyone can do it. OK. Can I have another go? No. If anyone can do it, I want to go. Oh, all right. Holly, give Ben your wand. But... But elves don't do magic. I'd like to give magic a go, just this once. That's the spirit, Ben. Uh, into frogs, abracazobody. Phew, for a moment I thought Ben was going to turn us into frogs. Abracazobody? Ugh, <laughs> 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 uh, it's no good. Elves don't do magic. Hmm. Maybe you just need a teeny tiny bit of magical help. Tricky trick trick. This young elf do magic. There. Have another go, Ben. Into frogs. Abracazobadee. Hey, it worked. <coughs> Into birds. Zabadee zee. And into rabbits. Abracazabadee. There. All finished. Very good, Ben. But haven't you forgotten something? Uh, what? You need to turn them back into girls again. Do I? Oh, OK then. Abracazabadee zabadee zee. Well done, Ben. Did you two follow that? Uh, yes, Nanny. I think so. Good. Anyone else want to try? Yes, please. Can I have a go? No. no. How about a game of football? Yes. yes, football. And the rules say no magic. OK. okay.
Yes, I think we've had quite enough magic for one day. <laughs> Today's adventure starts at the little castle. The king's busy day. Food delivery. Hi, Ben. Hi, Holly. I'm helping my dad today. He's very busy. Thank you, Mr. L. Got a dash. On to our next delivery. Bye, Holly. Bye, Ben. Daddy, are you busy? I'm King Thistle. I'm always busy. I have lots of important work to do. You're not working now. I am. I'm practising sitting still without falling asleep. That's not work. It is King's work. And it's harder than it looks. Oh, what else is King's work? Making speeches, shaking hands and waving a lot. <laughs> that sounds fun. Can I help you work today? Of course, Holly. Oh, goody. Magic car, drive on. Now, the first job for any King is waving. It's a bit boring, but you do it like this. Oh, look! It's the king! Hello! 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 Hello. It's Princess Holly! Hello! <laughs> this is fun! Yes, a good wave will work wonders wherever you go. Where are we going? Nanny Plum, what's the first bit of work I'm doing today? You're launching an elf boat, Your Majesty. How do you launch a boat? I'll show you. Princess Holly and King Thistle. Hooray! Hooray! This is where I make a speech. <coughs> well done, elves, for building this boat. It uh, looks like a good one. And I'm sure you will have a lot of uh, fun with it. Jolly good show. Now we smash a bottle of sparkling fairy juice against the side of the boat. Ah, oh. but where is the fairy juice? <laughs> Sorry, Your Majesty. We're very busy today. Hi, Holly. Hi, Ben. Got a dash. On to our next delivery. Bye, Holly. Bye. <laughs> I declare this elf boat well and truly launched. <laughs> What do we do now? We shake hands and ask questions. Hello. And what do you do? I hammer metal, Your Majesty. How very interesting. Hello. And what do you do? I'm the ship's cook, Your Majesty. How very interesting. <laughs> and what do you do? I'm the captain, Princess Holly. How very interesting. Daddy, can we ride on the boat? Please? Good idea, Holly. I never get to try these things. Captain, would it be possible to ride on your boat, please? It would be an honour, Your Majesty. Nice, Daddy. Yes, it is rather nice, isn't it? I don't know why I've never done this before. Would you like some lunch, Your Majesty? Oh, yes. I am rather hungry. Me too. Telephone for Your Majesty. Someone called Nanny Plum? <coughs> Hello, Nanny Plum. <coughs> yes. Yes, of course. Right away. <coughs> Nanny says I have to get back to work. What about lunch? I know, but there is more important king work to be done. But, Daddy, you're king. That means you're in charge. Ah, Holly, everyone thinks I'm in charge, but really, I get told what to do all the time. 
When are we having lunch, Nanny? There's no time for lunch, Your Majesty. You have to judge a fairy fruit and vegetable competition. How do you do that, Daddy? How do I do that, Nanny? You pick the biggest. Princess Holly and King Thistle. Hooray! Hooray! Here are the finalists, Your Majesty. This is a tomato. Ah, very, uh, big. And this, a strawberry. Also very big and, uh, red. Now I have to make another speech. Ah. Well done, everybody, for growing this, um, stuff. It all looks, uh, very big. Now, without further ado, I judge that the winner is the tomato. Or perhaps the strawberry. No, no, the tomato. Daddy, they keep using magic. Yes, this happens every time. Why don't we just see which one tastes the best? What a good idea. Let's taste them. <laughs> it can be our lunch. First, the main course, the tomato. Mmm, mm. delicious. Now for pudding, the strawberry. Mmm, scrumptious. Yum, yum. They're both so very tasty. They both win. Hooray! 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 So, where's the trophy? <laughs> Hope I'm not too late, Your Majesty. No, you're just in time. Well done. Jolly good show. Hooray! Hooray! Hi, Ben. Hi, Holly. Bye, Holly. Bye. Mmm, that was delicious. Now I'd like a little nap. I'm sorry, Your Majesty. There's no time for that. But I'm tired, Nanny. You must make another speech at the Festival of Elf and Fairy Dancing. Oh, I don't know anything about dancing. How can I make a speech about it? Daddy, I can do a speech. I've been watching you do it all day. Excellent. You can make the speech, Holly. Princess Holly and King Thistle. Hooray! Hooray! Look, Mr. Elf has brought the musical instruments. Hi, Holly. That was the last delivery. Now we can play. You might have finished, Ben, but I'm still working. Holly, it's time for your speech. Hello. You all look very nice, and I hope you have fun dancing today. Uh... Jolly good show. Jolly good show. What happens now? Now comes the hard bit. We have to sit still and not fall asleep. In honour of your majesty, we will now do a dance. Good. Very good. Come on, Daddy. Let's dance. What? But I... Oh, all right. Could you play something a little bit more modern? Righto. You're right, Holly. King's work is fun. Oh, 
That was a busy day. Ho, ho. Yes, it was. Today's adventure starts at the Great Elf Tree. Fun and games. This is my very special cupcake recipe using flour, honey, milk, chocolate and an apple. Yummy! <laughs> now we add an egg. <sighs> wow, Mum! We give it a little stir. OK. Splish, splash, splosh, splosh. <laughs> <laughs> that must be Holly. Hi, Ben. Hi, Holly. I'm helping Mum make cakes. Ooh, can I help? Fairies are good at making cakes. Of course, Princess Holly. You can help with the stirring. That's my favourite bit. Splashing and sploshing the cake mixture. <laughs> I'd like more stirring and less splashing and sploshing, please. <laughs> <laughs> Splish, splash, splosh, splush. <laughs> Holly, maybe you should do the stirring. OK, Mrs Elf. Very good stirring, Holly. It could have been a bit more splashy. <laughs> Next, we put the mixture into the cake tin. It looks really yummy. Mmm, can we have one now? Sorry, Ben, I have to bake them in the oven first. Oh, can't we just cook them with magic? <laughs> <laughs> These are elf cakes, baked without magic. But magic can bake them really quick. I'll show you. No thanks, Holly. Remember, elves don't do magic. And, and we're, we're elves. elves. <laughs> <laughs> Are the cakes ready yet? <laughs> they haven't even started cooking. Oh, maybe Holly should use a bit of magic. I think a better idea would be if you two played outside for a bit and I call you in when the cakes are ready. Oh, do we have to? Just think of some fun games to play. I don't feel like playing games today. What nonsense. You love playing games. <laughs> Have fun! I wish those cakes didn't take so long to bake. Me too. I suppose we might as well try playing a game. OK. How about tag? I like tag. All right. But you must play fair. No magic. OK. You're it. <laughs> Can't catch me! <laughs> Can't catch me! <laughs> You're running too fast! I can't help it! Elves are good at running fast and I'm an elf! <laughs> it's not fair! Fairies can't run as fast as elves! OK, I'll hop on one leg. Can't catch me! <laughs> You're still going too fast. OK, I'll stand still. Got you! <laughs> My turn. Can't catch me. <laughs> I'm going to catch you. No, you're not. <laughs> Can't catch me. <laughs> That's cheating. We said no magic. I'm not using magic. I'm just flapping my fairy wings. <laughs> it's not fair. Elves don't have wings. I'll never catch you. All right. I won't use my wings. Got you! <laughs> Let's play a new game. Yes, 
Hide and seek. OK, we'll play hide and seek. Yippee! I love hide and seek. <laughs> but no flying. OK, no flying. One, two, three. No looking. OK, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Coming, ready or not. <laughs> hmm, Ben's quite well hidden. Not there. Hmm, not there either. Hmm, Ben, give me a clue. Please. You're very cold. <laughs> Getting colder. Oh. Warmer. <laughs> Hot. Hotter and hotter. <laughs> <laughs> Found you. Oh, there's no one there. Ice cold. Ah, uh, this is too boring. I have better things to do with my time. Here I am! <laughs> Found you! <laughs> Good hiding place, eh, Holly? It was OK, I suppose. Elves always hide well, and I'm an elf. <laughs> <laughs> my turn to hide. Remember, play fair and no flying or anything. No flying, I promise. <laughs> One, two, three. <gasps> I'll never find anywhere good to hide in time. Hmm, Ben said no flying, but he didn't say no magic. <laughs> what do you think, Wand? Shall we do a teeny bit of magic? <coughs> no, Wand. I'm sure Ben won't mind. <laughs> Abracadibbly dibbly dibble make me invisible. <laughs> Coming! Ready or not? Hmm. Very, very, very ice cold. Oh. Colder than a polar bear. Hmm. <laughs> Aha, uh -huh. I see. <laughs> you might as well give up. You'll never find me. I wonder where Holly can be. Maybe she's not in the meadow at all. <laughs> it's no good. Holly's hidden too well. I'll never find her. <laughs> Found you. Oh. How did you find me? I'm invisible. Oh, I'm not invisible. The magic's worn off. Magic? Oh, um, I was just using a teeny bit of magic. Hmm. Anyway, let's play a different game. I promise not to use flying or magic. OK, let's play a game of... Children! The cupcakes are ready! Oh, Mrs Elf, do we have to come in? Can we just play one more game? Well, I never. I thought a certain fairy princess and a certain elf found playing games boring. But, Mum, we've hardly been playing any time at all. And you said the cakes would take ages. <laughs> the cakes have taken ages. Have they? The time's whizzed by because you were enjoying yourselves. Time does that. Oh. Would you like a cupcake each? Yes, please. Mmm. Delicious. Mmm. Yummy. These cakes are the best. And Mrs Elf didn't even use any magic. <laughs> Thank you, Holly. I think it was your stirring that made all the difference. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to see a trick? OK. <laughs> I can make this cake disappear. How? 
I thought elves didn't do magic. Watch carefully. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> 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 